interesting painting this week, and I've got to get, dedicate this to my sister, not because she likes this painting or recommended it. Actually, she always hated this painting, and it is weird. It's one of those paintings where you look at it and you're thinking, what the heck is going on here? This was painted in 1594, and the artist is unknown, which always kinds of um, kind of adds an air of mystery to the painting, sort of an enigma. Uh, the fact that we'll never find out who actually painted this, and it's entitled Gabrielle de Tre et un de ses soeurs, or Gabrielle de Tre and one of her sisters. And to understand this painting, you have to understand some history um, that surrounded this painting, um, specifically what was happening in France at the time. First of all, there was a lot of religious conflict between the Huguenots, or the Huguenots, and the Catholics. Europe, France, was particularly dominated by Catholicism at the time. Uh, so the Huguenots were continually persecuted by the Catholics. You have events uh, that are well known in history, like the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. And then you have Henry IV, who's a French Protestant, a Calvinist, who finds himself in a position in which he really, if he wants to become the king of France, needs to convert from um, Calvinism to Catholicism. And actually, it was his mistress, who's depicted here, Gabrielle de Tre, who encouraged him to do that, and he agreed, kind of famously stating that France was worth a mass. So you've got Henry IV, originally a Huguenot, uh, converting to Catholicism and then assuming the throne of France. And he's known for issuing then the Edict of Nantes, which essentially ended the religious persecution of Protestants by Catholics, and of course that would later be revoked by Louis XIV. Now, Gabrielle de Tre was Henry IV's mistress. They were never married. They were intending on getting married, but she actually um, died in childbirth uh, be before they had an opportunity to get married, just when things were getting serious, too. It's truly unfortunate. So let's look more at just the painting now. You can see that Gabrielle de Tre is holding, ostensibly, Henry IV's coronation ring in her left hand, and she's the one depicted on the right. And this could be uh, interpreted as a symbol of their love for one another. The relationship was very public. It was no secret um, that these two had a relationship with one another. They were both already previously married. Um, both had their marriages annulled. And as I said, they were intending on marrying one another before Gabrielle died in childbirth. Now, Gabrielle's sister on the left is pinching her. <laughs> and this is the part that I think always weirds people out. And what you have to understand is that Gabrielle was pregnant with Henry's first child, who was Caesar de Bourbon. So the uh, pinching is symbolic of maternity, right? Like milk. <laughs> it's still a little awkward, even after you uh, explain it and understand it. But there's more symbols of maternity in this painting as well. Um, and of course, you can't, you kind of have to get over the initial weirdness that her and her sister are standing up in what appears to be a bath. Um, but in the background, you can see a maid knitting, probably in preparation for this new child. And then also, art critics have commented that the fire, that you can just barely see in the fireplace in the back, can be seen as a representation of Gabrielle, being a mother, her internal furnace, <laughs> or womb, in which her child is developing. And beyond just the ring, another instance or symbol of the uh, the love that Gabrielle and Henry had for one another is said to be shown in that painting far in the background above the fireplace which depicts some sort of a erotic scene. One interesting thing is that there's a very strong left-handed bias in this painting. You can see that Gabrielle is holding Henry's coronation ring in her left hand, her sister is pinching her with her left hand, and the servant woman in the background is knitting with her left hand. And then you also have this red curtain in the foreground of the painting that's been pulled back, almost as if the two sisters are on some sort of a stage and uh, are displaying themselves to the viewer. And this painting today is housed in the Musée de Louvre. And, uh, well, what turns out to be just an affectionate gesture uh, between sisters may at first glance seem a little bit weird, but hopefully now, since you understand a little bit more of the historical context, and significance for the painting, you'll have a greater appreciation for it and maybe be a little bit more uh, tolerant toward its unusualness. And hey, if you like art as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can learn more about art 
with a new painting every week. See you next week, everybody. Thanks for watching.